Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the buckling loads and modes for a cantilever. Now as I said in the previous videos, the steps and process is the exact same, except the maths will be a bit different. So, let's just set up what we're going to do. The first thing we always do is draw a free body diagram of the deflected shape. So, a cantilever would ordinarily look like this. So there's our support, our rigid support. Here's the cantilever. Now this is just like the simply supported beam, has an associated load P, which is causing the buckling. This will then buckle to a shape like this, where we have P over here. So there's P. Now straight away, obviously just force equilibrium in the X direction, we're gonna have to have a resisting force P over there. So that's going to be P. But also, we know that a cantilever, a rigid support like this, can take moment. Okay? So that's going to also have a resisting moment. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to assume a displaced distance. So we'll call that F, which is just a constant. So this, unlike the previous video with the um, simply support, and actually in this video as well, we had V, which V was a function of X, which changed. This F, we're only looking at the end here, what that final displacement is. So F stands for the final displacement. I'm right at the end. Now we're going to be finding the moment there, so let's call that A, this point here. We want to find some of the moments about A to equal zero. So this let's call this moment M. So taking moments about that point with anti-clockwise being positive, so that M is going anti-clockwise. This P times F with this lever arm would be going clockwise. So it would be minus PF equals zero, so M equals PF. So that moment over there, the resisting moment, is equal to P times F. All right, so that's the free body diagram of the deflected shape. Step two was um, taking...